Hi guys, I'm back with a new haul. Uh, the last one was the Disney haul, so this time we're doing the Universal haul. Uh, it's, it's like, when did it get back? July, August? Two months later now. Oh God, is that it? Yeah, it feels like forever, oh, doesn't it? Adam bad. said he was going to do this haul, but he's chickened out, so you just have to pop with me and his voiceover in the background. Which I think is probably for the best. Why? Nobody came here for me, they came here for you. No, they didn't. Don't Nobody be like me. that. Everybody hates me. Oh, no. <laughs> Thanks, Babs. Yeah. Do I do the, like, this is going to be primarily a Harry Potter haul, because that's what we set out to do. We saved all our money to buy loads of Harry Potter stuff, basically. Because um, that's the only time we were going to buy it. We never buy anything when we're here at home, do we? No. We just save up. I think that's best because they don't really offer too much stuff here unless you get it off the internet and it costs a fortune trying to get it imported from the yeah. States. I don't know what it's like with UK. I mean, there's Noble Collection in the UK. Um, I don't think they sell all the stuff that you can get from Noble Collection in the USA. But basically, we saved loads of money. Not loads. We, we put, pulled together our funds. Both of us work full time. Uh, our house needs decorating. <laughs> So we prioritise getting Harry Potter stuff instead. <laughs> right, Ed? Yeah, there's no problem with that. Because there is going to be decoration for our house. Yeah, technically it still counts. <laughs> so we work full time, so it's not as if we've said, Mummy, Daddy, lend us some money to get us all this stuff. I'm just putting this disclaimer out there before people think we're spoiled brats or whatever. But as I say, we work full time, we've pulled our resources together, we've done it all fairly, haven't we? No oh, one dear. gives us money for anything. We do it all off our own back, basically. So, I'll make a start. As I say, it's mainly Harry Potter stuff, but we've also got a few other odd bob stuff, don't we? Yeah, bits and bobs here and there. So I'll start with this picture here that Adam bought. And this was from Pick, wasn't it? That shop just outside Universal Studios. Is it's it Pick? The, uh, yeah, Pick. It's Pick. the... Um, yeah, what, what, what was it, did you say? Just outside Universal Studios. Yeah, Universal Boulevard, whatever it's called. <laughs> that where NBC Sports and Gr Grill Brew is. Yeah. Yeah. So that was that, a skull with loads of candy on its head. So cool. It's cute. And it found a frame for it, actually. And this was $20. $20. $20. Ah, 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 ah. Another picture from Pick we bought was this Jack and Sally. I forgot that. And this was $20 as well, again from Pick. What's that? What's that? Spider's one. Uh -oh. <laughs> um, so that's from, what's it called? Pick, Pick. the shop just P -I -C. outside. Is it Pick? No, it's P I Q. Oh, P I Q. Outside of Universal Studios. Next thing we bought from Universal was this clapper. And I know you can get these cheaper elsewhere, but I like the fact that it had Universal Studios on it. So I got this, and I think this was about $14. Oh, yeah, around about And that I got too. it from that shop near ET, didn't I? Yeah. The ET shop. I think it might have been more around about 20 I think. I can't remember. No, because I was like, whoa, that's cheap. Oh, were you? Yeah, I remember. Because it was pouring the rain, wasn't it? Yeah, so I was like, you know, might as well buy stuff if we're standing yeah. inside. <laughs> That's that. The next item we bought that isn't Harry Potter related is this Back to the Future hat. I thought it was amazing. And this was twenty. Oh, did I really pay that much? Yeah, you went a bit psycho because you thought it was for James, and then you were just like, "I'm keeping this." I love Back to the Future. I absolutely love it. It's one of my favorite. It's be I love it more than Harry Potter. That's how much I love Back to the Future. Yeah. I wish I had more stuff like Back to the Future. didn't really have that much. Track, no. Because I got rid of the stupid ride, man. And although I do love the Simpson, Simpsons ride, I bet Back to the Future was amazing. Was it? You've been on it. Yeah, it was pretty damn good, actually. Was it? Yeah. It's just like the Simpsons, but like, well, they don't have that 3D sort of 4D ride sort of experience. <sighs> 
I wish I got to experience that other time. It was really good. Yeah. So I got this Back to the Future hat and this was $28.95. Cool. So yeah, that's that's it. That's the miscellaneous section of Universal stuff we bought. The next stuff is all Harry Potter stuff now. So let's get started. Don't judge me guys, don't judge me. <laughs> But the thing is, it's not easy for me to spend money on things. Although I did, like, I did adamantly want this hat, and it was like thirty dollars nearly. When it came to the Harry Potter stuff, thirty dollars. Yeah. What? Oh. When it came to the Harry Potter stuff, can I finish my sentence, please? Rude. When it came to the Harry Potter stuff, Ad had to persuade me to buy it, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, you took a lot of persuading, didn't Which it? Which you don't get because you really wanted it, but you wouldn't buy it for I don't know. Reason. It's strange. I'm strange like that. But nevertheless, I still proceeded. Yes, you did. <laughs> so, the first things we bought was the Harry Potter crest. Crests as in plural. These were $45 in the shop underneath the Hogwarts castle. So the first one here we have is Slytherin and this is in a silver. <sighs> silver what? Pewter. Pewter. In a pewter type colour. It has the snake Slytherin on the bottom. $45. Then we have the Hufflepuff crest, again $45, and this is more of a bronze colour. Um, so you've got the beaver there, or is it the badger? Badger. Badger, isn't it? Badger here with Hufflepuff on the bottom. And it's quite, it's like a felt material on the back with hooks. And it has this on the back. So yeah, that's the Hufflepuff one. Then we've got the Ravenclaw, and again that's in the pewter colour. We've got the bird there, the bird's head on the top, with Ravenclaw on the bottom. The bird is a raven. The bird is a raven, obviously. My head goes blank when I go on camera. The bird, it's a bird. Prompt me, Adam, prompt me. It's a raven. <laughs> the next one is the Gryffindor. And this again is in the bronze colour. Uh, it's got the lion here. And what's on? What's that? It's like a star and a moon at the top. Mm -hmm. And you've got a Gryffindor carved at the bottom. And so that's the crests. And then the final crest we got is the actual Hogwarts crest. And this is bigger compared to the crests you've just seen. So this was more expensive. And I think this was $55. And this is in, is this the bronze colour as well? Is this the same type of colour? Yeah, I think yeah. so. Yeah. So you've got all the houses here. And you've got this lovely decoration. It's really heavy. So this is $55. And yeah, it's beautiful. Gonna have them hanging up in the house for decoration. So yeah, Adam had to properly persuade me to get all of them, didn't yeah, I? Yeah, I really did. It was annoying. <laughs> really annoying. How much I had to like, persuade you to get something that you wanted. I know. I feel bad for this and blowing all that money on Google. Do you actually feel... Do you still feel bad? Not now, but at the time. Yeah, but you were like, you were walking away. I'm like, are you going to get these in England? And I knew you never would. So I was just like, buy them now, hmm. you burp. And I bet you would have regretted it if you never bought them. You would have got home and be like, oh, I wish I got them. Probably, because someone came home and like unpacked everything. I was like, oh my god, look at all this stuff we exactly, bought. Exactly, <laughs> buzzing about it. Okay, so the next Harry Potter related item we've got is the locket. Oh god. Uh, oh god, there's a glare. There's a glare, Adam. There's a glare. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. I can't get it without the glare because I'm sat opposite the window of the light. Oh, there's me and the camera. But there's a locket. And this was $35. More than that, I would have thought. Let's have a look. $50. <laughs> there you go. 
<laughs> so this is fifty dollars. And probably you could have got it cheaper elsewhere, but we were in Harry Potter, so just get it there and then. Next thing we got was the Horcrux ring, and again this was fifty dollars as well. It opens like this. I've got shaky hands. No, you can see it there. So we're gonna put we're gonna have a display cabinet in our movie cinema type room. Have it all Harry Potter and Disney decorated, but in a nice tasteful way. Not in a tacky way, hopefully. Tasteful. tasteful. The next item we got is this Gringotts coin set. I'm not sat in the best place because it's such a glare on things. I'll do it up close. So there's the coins. Um, and it says products inspired of the world of Harry Potter. This document certifies that the enclosed coins are authentic replicas from the Warner Brothers Pictures Harry Potter film series. Please enjoy this unique offering from the Noble Collection. And this was thirty-five dollars. Yeah, so the next thing we bought was this Hufflepuff cup. It's and a Hufflepuff cup. And this was about forty dollars, I believe. Was it? Yeah. I don't think so. I think you're lowballing these prices. Well, that's what the internet's saying. Oh, okay. We might have paid extra because okay. we were in a theme park. <laughs> yeah. And uh, it's quite heavy. It is really heavy. Heavy, actually, for. It's pretty well made. Yeah, it is well made. It's not plasticky. It's. Yeah. What is it? Metal. <laughs> Metal esque. It's got this lovely carving with the badger on the front. It's felt badger. on the bottom. And you can't actually use it as a cup because there's a hole in it to prevent you from using it as a cup. Well, why would you want to? I don't know, but people might buy it to use it as a cup. Oh, books. Ours is going to our display cabinet again, so yeah. We've, we went with the theme of buying all the Horcruxes, basically. We're gonna, for Harry Potter, mm. we're gonna just use a pop figure. And then we still need to get Nagini. Yeah, we do. Yeah. The next item we bought is this golden snitch that you can put together. And we've seen these in shops, like they've been made already. And they're quite sturdy for what they are. So I was like, let's just do that instead of buying like a proper one. And this was $18, and we still yet to put it together, but again, it's going in our display cabinet. Another expensive purchase we bought was the Marauder's Map, and it comes in this sleeve to protect it. It opens up massively, loads of folds in the paper. I'm sure you've seen it on YouTube before, um, but it's awesome. I've always wanted the Marauder's Map, but again, Adam had to persuade me to buy it. Remember? Yeah, you want to buy I've it. I've always wanted the Marauder's Map. I, don't, I honestly don't understand her. I really don't. I can't help it, I don't. <laughs> the next item we bought was the Monster Book of Monsters. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look how cute I he is. Saw that and you fell in love with I did. I was away. like, oh my god, we have to buy that. That was the one thing that I was like, let's get it. No, even then I was like, no, no, no. It's it amazing. Was. And then no, I was I'm like, pretty sure you were solid with that one. Was that solid? Yeah. I was solid with this one. You solid with that and one. And this was $35. And this is a toy. But I'm going to put it in the display cabinet because I think it's beautiful. I think it's all amazing. It is. Well. Look at his teeth and his little tongue and his little eyes and he's fluffy. So fluffy! <laughs> you put batteries in them and everything. So you must actually like make sound and touch, turn off the book to touch the spine. Yeah. We've never actually put batteries or anything in them. I think we need to. No. No? He's a display. Oh no. He's a nice, pet Adam. Nice to turn him on once. <laughs> oh, he's so beautiful. The next item we bought, which again I was I was that adamant on buying this, I don't find You finally picked up when I found him when we said you just like the last one in the shop or something. You're like, oh because we went, we originally saw him and you put him back and you're like, oh, we'll have a look at the other shop. And then you went to the shop at the front. And the only one Universal, left. And you were like, oh, they don't have a fan. And I was like, oh, yeah, well. He's so soft though. So I went, and, I went and found one for you and you're like, oh my God, I'm keeping him. And he was walking around with fire underneath your arm. <laughs> or you were buying it. And I never watch. buy soft, cuddly toys. But he's gorgeous and soft and velvety. 
and he look at his wrinkles and ears and his jowls and his little mouth. <laughs> yeah, he's quite big as well. Look, he's like half my body. <laughs> And he was twenty nine ninety five dollars. It's a bit expensive. Well, but... it's still not even that bad, really. Well, I don't know. People, people have a different opinion on prices and expenses. Um, I mean, uh, to be fair, real life, this is expensive stuff. Like I wouldn't yeah. buy. Well, it this here. is Disney money, though, isn't it? It's fake. But when you've you like. got dollars, it's not real money, is it? No, it's <laughs> so... not. <laughs> not when you're on holiday. Holiday doesn't. Really all the really damn money, money doesn't count, does it? It's like, it's just spend it all. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Look at him, he's beautiful. He's beautiful. He's so gorgeous. <laughs> and the final thing we bought, which again was expensive. Eh. Eh. I'm ashamed to show this one, actually. Which, which one is that one? This one. So, yeah. It's a bit dusty because we kept it on display in the front room. We used to go on the display case. But this is a really expensive item we bought. But again, we want to collect all the Horcruxes. So it's going to complete our collection in the long run. And that's the Lost Diadem. It's beautiful though. It's really sparkly in the light. We've just got really bad lighting at the moment, but it's absolutely gorgeous. And, uh, comes in this box and it's quite heavy actually. Ah, it's alright, it's not too bad. It's, it's not as heavy as you think it'd be, but there it is there. Solid. It's solid, yeah. And this was, Adam, you went and bought this. 75, 85, something. No, I think it was more than that, you know. Well, maybe 110, I don't know, it was expensive. I'd want to say it was $130. I don't know, it was expensive, however much it was. Again, it's going to go in our display cabinet in our movie room. It's beautiful, but it's it our is, favourite piece. Is it? Yeah. That's good. So yeah, what Horcruxes do we need now? We need Nagini. And we're going to use Harry Potter as the, one of our pop figures. That's it, isn't it? Look at all the Horcruxes there. Yeah, I saw it. Yeah. You showed them the diary? Not yet. <laughs> right, so that's that Universal Harry Potter stuff. Then when I came home, because we got engaged, obviously, on the holiday. When I came yeah. home, we met my brother. And he got us Tom Riddle's diary with the basilisk fang through it. For one of our engagement presents. So I'll show you that. And this one seems to sell out really fast as well. It's proper heavy, like, because even when he, because he told me that when he went to buy this, I think it was in Forbidden Planet, it was the last one. And even in Wizarding World, we couldn't really find it, could we? They said that we've got three in, in one of the shops, and they were all sold out straight away. So, I don't know what that's all about, but it's pretty cool. I mean, the diary, the, the normal diary, the one with the paper in it, it can, you can get it for $20, I think. Um, but this one, it's really expensive. It's dusty. It's okay. It's alive. Something about how uh, you love the presents that your brother buys for you and you love destroying them. <laughs> so that's how Tom Riddle's diary it says Tom Marvillo. Mar can never say that word. Tom Marvillo Riddle on the front. And it's hefty. It's really hefty. I'm glad I didn't damage anything in the process then. Such a bird. Imagine that, for God's sake. Yeah. And since we're on the topic of Harry Potter stuff, and again, although this is not part of the Universal Hall, we, we couldn't just show it by itself because it's part of Harry Potter. 
But for Adam's birthday, which was like a month after we came back, we got this little Quidditch set for him. For me. For him, I mean for him. For... <laughs> What? You open it like this, you got a little snitch there, and you take this plastic bit off, and you've got the bludger and the quaffle. Quaffle. How cool is that? And it comes with a little poster, I think, underneath. Yeah, you can take it out. Oh, that's awesome. That's pretty so awesome. Cool. But your snitch you can't take out, but for, I think it's like £17. Really? Yeah. What? This? That's pretty good. That's decent. So I'm going to put that in as a square cabinet as well. To me, from me. <laughs> I mean, for Anna's birthday. Yeah, Adam, it's your present. <laughs> sure, whatever. That's cool. That's, it is really cool. Why is it behind the sofa then, Adam? Ugh. Oh, that's a shock. <laughs> Why are you being like that? I'm just being like anything. You're grumpy? I'm not grumpy. I'm only grumpy because you keep saying I'm grumpy. God, just stop. So yeah, that's the Quidditch set. Don't cut that out. I will cut that out. So yeah, that's, that's the, the Quidditch, Quidditch set. set. So that's the Quidditch set. <laughs> it's beautiful. <laughs> Looks like this on the outside as well. Pattern. <coughs> Two bludgers, one quaffle, golden snitch, a Quidditch poster, trunk, and a trunk. lock and key, but I don't think we got a key with it, mind. Or is that the class as the lock and key? I don't think so. Oh, I think it's awesome. I think it's cool. £17. You can't go wrong. So yeah, that's our Universal Hall. Again, I must say that me and I do work full time. We saved our money. Dollars isn't real money in our eyes, so we just went crazy with it. Um, we split the costs, didn't we, Ad? Pretty much. Yeah, everything's for our house that we you can see here. That we live in. <laughs> that we live in. <laughs> it's quite gothic y, but still modern at the same time. <laughs> but yeah, thank you for watching. Give us a like if you like this video. Comment down below to say what your favourite object or picture was. And if you don't like yeah. it, keep it to yourself. <laughs> Why? People know. can have an opinion, freedom of speech. We're not in America, darling. Yes, we are. No, I'm not. For the purpose of this video, we are in no. America. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, I hope you like this video, and I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye, guys. Bye.